Exercise 22. Calculate the debt ratio and the return on assets using the year-end information for each of the following six separate companies. Company 1 has $167,000 in assets and $56,000 in liabilities. The debt ratio indicates the portion of assets that are owned by non-owners, the creditors. To calculate the debt ratio, we take the liabilities and divide by the total assets. When we divide 56,000 by 167,000, the debt ratio is 0 0.34. 34 cents of every dollar of assets is owned by the bank. Company 2, when we divide 50,500 by 84,500, the debt ratio is 0 0.60. For Company 3, 12,000 divided by 88,500 is the debt ratio of 0.14. Company 4, 35,000 divided by 92,000 is a debt ratio of 0.38. Company 5, 49,500 divided by 64,000 is a debt ratio of 0.77. And Company 6, 16,250 divided by 32,500 is 0 0.50. Question B asks of the six companies which business relies most heavily on creditor financing. So when we look at the ratios, the highest ratio is Company 5. 77 cents of every dollar of assets is owned by non-owners, the creditors. So of the six companies, which business relies most heavily on equity financing? This is looking for the complement of the debt ratio. So if, as we look back at Company 5, we know that 77 cents of every dollar of assets is owned by the creditors, this implies that the remaining 23 cents of every dollar of assets is owned by the owners. This is referred to as equity financing. So the company that relies most heavily on the owners would be Company 3. Since Company 3 has only 14 cents of every dollar owned by non-owners, the remaining 86 cents of the dollar is owned by the owners. Which of those two companies indicates the greatest risk? That would be Company 5. As we're not relying on the owners, we're relying on the banking community. Next, we're asked to calculate the return on assets. Return on assets is asking how effectively the company takes the assets and converts them into net income. To calculate the return on assets, the numerator is net income and the denominator is average assets. So for company one, we take 20,000 divided by 215,000 gives us 0 0.093. For company two, 12,500 divided by 80,000 is 0.156. Company 3, 29,000 divided by 110,000 is 0.264. Company 4, 8,500 divided by 45,000, 0.189. Company 5, 3,000 divided by 40,000 is 0 0.075. And company 6, 8,455 divided by 62,000 is 0.136. Letter E, which two companies earn the highest return on assets? Company 3 has a return on assets of 0.264, then company 4 at 0.189. A return on assets of 0.264 indicates that for every dollar of net assets invested, the company is able to generate 26.4 cents in net income. Letter F asks which one company would investors likely prefer based on the risk-return relation. And Company 3 would be most investors' choice, as it yields the highest return on assets, in this case 0.264, with the lowest degree of risk due to financing. Only 14 cents of every dollar is being claimed by non-owners.